Kirstie Alley on Howard. He's quick. No more bullshit. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Mike Hambrick. Kirstie Alley in studio more than an hour Wednesday. Topics range from acting to Scientology to sex. With Howard Stern's birthday bash coming up, what does she think will be Howard's legacy? I think his legacy is that he is uniquely lovable and irritating at the same time. Do you see any of yourself in him? Oh, yeah. I'm a lunatic. Sometimes people think that I'm very snobby, and I'm not. So I can see how they could think different things about Howard that he's not. It's always fun to meet somebody in person, and you see how uh, alive he is. And he's very alive. The thing I admire him most is how quick he is. Backpacker Eric the actor finally connected with manager Johnny Fratto, missing for two days. The actor... Suspicious. Last time I talked to him late last night, I've been sick for two days. I had food poisoning. I'm like, yeah, okay. Along the lines of all the other bullshit that you've told me over the years that I've known you. This is Tom Christie, Richard Christie's dad, and you're listening to Howard Stern News Show. Is that what it is? This day in Howard history, December 4th, 2007, Stern Show writer Richard Christie fulfilled a longtime dream, bleaching his anus. It was a cleansing experience. How's it look? Oh, my God. Wait, what's in there? What what's, do you see, Enrique? What's going on? Thank God, God I well, have I this see, I see, like, brown, between brown and yellow, and I don't know, all kinds of it's weird colors in there. <laughs> oh, come no, on. My guys are very clean, Richard. Come on. Get in there, Enrique. <laughs> what, what are you afraid of? Is there a smell? Did you shit I'm too today? Far. I'm, not, what, I'm not getting close. Did you go to the bathroom today? <laughs> yeah. And did you, you need wipe? to wash up. Uh, uh, yeah, you I'm, need to wipe. Christy, happy we remembered that day. Well, I'm glad you remembered this anniversary. It's f- about time somebody else celebrates it besides me. I've been celebrating this anniversary for years. It's a big day, December 4th. (laughs) That is the one and only time bleach will ever get near my ass unless I accidentally sit on a can of Clorox (laughs) sometime. But no, I uh, one bleaching's enough. Another Howard 100 News Brief at the top of the hour, or as close as we can get.